What's going on gamers? It's your boy Daily Tactics here and today we are back in the Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 and we're playing a massive bridge crossing. Someone in my comment section asked me to have 5 million zombies try and cross a bridge with a seriously outnumbered US Army force. So. The U.S. Army has assault troopers holding the bridge, along with uh, three Sherman tanks right here. I tried to spawn in four. I guess one got deleted, so rip, rip, potato chip to them. Uh, on top of that, they've got a number of shotgunners who are actually going to be assaulting as almost a counterattack against the zombies, uh, just to make it a little bit different of a battle, add some more versatility in there. And you can see they're already slaughtering many a zomboy over here. Uh, then, on the interior of this little town here, they've got shotgunners uh, around the perimeter, actually, defending that as a last resort. Over here, we've got assault root riflemen, or sorry, assault troopers. They don't have assault rifles. They have SMGs holding the flanks to the left over here, and another group of them is holding the flanks to the right over this way, too. Uh, because the zombies do have other access points uh, from other bridges and things like that. So, uh, you need some flanking forces to support that. And it looks like, actually, some shotgunners who are assaulting are going to go around this way, too, which is kind of interesting. Um, so, in total, there are 5 million zombies. Already 10,000 of them are dead, and more are soon following suit. And we have 15,213 U.S. Army troopers. Vastly outnumbered, however, arguably the strongest faction in all of Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator, save for the hero units. So, is really not that bad. I mean, they've got a good chance of winning this thing. Every time we have zombies surrounding a faction, the U.S. tends to do the best out of all of them. They tend to be the uh, the faction that can survive. So, you know, I'm anticipating at, at least a challenge in this battle for the U.S. Army, if not a defeat. You know, there's a lot of zombies coming forward here, and they're outnumbered by astronomical margins. However, I think that they'll do very, very well, and that's already being shown here by the amount of zombies dying on the bridge assault over this way. And I think the flanking zombies are going to be the zombies' best chance at victory here to split up the U.S. forces and force them uh, into, uh, you know, giving ground and things like that. Already, we have 17 dead U.S. soldiers, probably from these troopers over here who are assaulting the zombies, uh, and now we're at 30,000 dead zombies. Pretty good ratio right there for the U.S. Army. Should be an awesome battle. If you guys are enjoying these Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 battles, please be sure to go ahead and hit the like button. It means the world to me. Let's try and get a thousand likes in the first 24 hours. Subscribe if you have not already, and comment down below any Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 uh, ideas that you guys have got for me. I've been trying to do more and more viewer ideas uh, as I run out of ideas myself, to be honest, um, and uh, I thought this was a great one, to be real. So I'm really excited about this. I think I think this is going to end up being a really cool battle. We're now at 18 dead shotguns. By the way, guys, I did upload another video earlier today where, uh, since it's the June 6th anniversary of D-Day, my dog's playing with a squeaky toy in the background. Oh, my goodness. Since it's the June 6th anniversary of D-Day, I went ahead and did uh, every Gates of Hell game uh, D-Day Beach Invasion I could which is an RTS battle simulator uh, where you can control the American forces and invade the D-Day beaches. We did Utah, Gold Beach, and Omaha Beach. It was really, really cool. It's not getting pushed very hard in the algorithm, so I figured i mention it here if you guys want to go check that out as well. Um, if you didn't manage to uh, see that on my channel, it's a super fun video. I thought it was really, really sick. So, uh, you know, if you guys want to go give a look at that, highly recommend it. Either way, guys, why don't we go ahead and let this run for a little bit. We're at 21 dead U.S. soldiers and 61,000 dead zombies. We'll let this run, let it ride, and uh, see what ends up happening after some time here. Right now, we have a massive U.S. force pushing towards this bridge over here. They might even take that bridge eventually. Uh, and we've, of course, got all of these forces over this way. And the right flank... Not really having much to do yet, but I can see a trickle in of zombies coming soon. So we'll see what all develops with all of that happening in just a bit. All right, so the U.S. forces are well over 100,000 kills, verging on 200,000 now. And the zombies have not really been able to do much at the main bridge over here. They're getting curb stunked, if you will. And then over at this bridge, we have no more U.S. shotgunners going over here. However, we do have a bunch on the bridge already and backing it up. Uh, and these guys are now holding this bridge, which is crazy. Though they have lost 79 soldiers, 80 soldiers now, 
So there must be shotgunners dying somewhere else, too, actually. Um, 81, 82, yeah, I'm guessing probably these shotgunners over here? Yeah, probably these guys. So these guys are also branching out now and meeting the right flankers. Um, and I believe a couple of shotgunners are dying every few seconds over here. But they're gaining some ground against these zombies and pushing out against them. I just worry that they might be overextending themselves and losing all of these troopers. But I guess that's what the assaulter's for, is the, you know, your adventure of it and and the ability to go ahead and counterattack a little bit against these zombies but for now the zombies are still getting completely crushed by the u.s forces and just getting destroyed man oh baby so we'll let it ride for a bit longer i oh look at this shotgunner all the way up here what are you doing oh my god we gotta we gotta possess this guy hold up huh, huh. Oh, kill him come on boys we got this let's take them all down I'm doing such little damage with these sprinkle shots in here. Let's go first person. Bam! Boom! Bop! Beepity! Let's get them, boys! Come on! Come at me, zombies! Ooh, yeah, see, that's what happens is you trickle down in terms of life. Uh, I'm down to five health now. Not too shabby labby -ish. not mood. I'll just leave this guy here to uh, fend for himself. He's probably better at firing than I am. So, uh, best of luck, son. And in fact, let's go ahead and do our first time lapse of the video right about here. Oh, God, no! All right, um, instead, why don't we do a time lapse maybe over here where the battle might be a little bit more dynamic with these shotgunners on this bridge. Let's do a time lapse over this way. Okay, so you guys might have noticed this during the time lapse, but I forgot to mention, there are also some trolls in this battle. There's about 2,000 trolls on the battlefield, I think. Um, and yeah, they're they're just now getting far enough forward to actually engage with some of the shotgunners over here. I completely forgot to mention that at the beginning of this battle, so that might be coming as a bit of a surprise for you guys. Um, but it just adds a little bit more interest to the army of evil here. Um, and potentially these trolls could get a number of kills, and they're already starting to do some damage to these shotgunners, though uh, not enough to really make too much of an impact in the video um, just yet. Right now we're at 409,000 deaths for the zombies and 138 deaths for the World War II soldiers. Um, not even 10% of the way through the zombies and trolls now. Still lots to go. Um, oh wow, these flankers over here got pushed way back. Holy cow. Alright, you go guys. Just absolutely butchering these zombos. Very nice, very nice. Hit them with the one two kapuya punch. Uh, <laughs> this is this is quite the insane battle, man. I am really, really enjoying it. Wow, these these shotgunners over here are getting ballsy. They're they're moving out, baby. They are going hard on this bridge. Okay, let's keep it going for a while longer. All right, boys. So it seems like actually the U.S. is losing a lot of soldiers, and I think it's over here probably due to maybe all these trolls coming forward. Yeah, so they've lost 589 soldiers, five, 600 now. They're they're losing a lot of soldiers pretty quick, and I, I think it is due to these trolls over this way. That's tough. That is tough over there. Um, but still, they're standing their ground. It could also be because of these guys over here, too. Look, now they're at 700 losses. That's a lot of losses pretty quick. Yeah, it could be over here, too. Zombies are coming at them from three different angles. That's a major problem for the U.S. So I think these two flanks are right now just experiencing a lot of death which is no good, but still, the U.S. has 670,000 kills on these zombies. An astronomical amount uh, compared to the losses they've had, and their core defense over here is still doing well. So, I'm not too worried about these losses. They've lost only a few shotgunners to this bridge. Uh, it's the other bridges that will eventually collapse, and then it's up to these guys to really, you know, hunker down and defend against those zombies that are going to be coming from over here. When these guys inevitably end up falling, which I think will happen pretty soon. I mean, look at this. The trolls are getting really in here now. Look at this. All right. Well, some of them are. <laughs> Actually, most of them are dying before they can even get a swing off, which is crazy. Wow. These shotgunners are good, man. These shotgunners are darn good. Oh, my goodness. All right. Why don't we go ahead and do another time lapse over here? Because this is a really cool part of the battlefield, I feel like, over this way.
and the US forces are about to pass 1 million kills. That's a nutty amount. Almost all the trolls over here are dead, by the way. That's kind of crazy. I know there was another batch of trolls somewhere over this way. I don't know if they're still alive. And actually, I'm just noticing the amount of kills that the trolls and the zombies have gotten is at about 2,300. That's a crazy amount, actually. That is a lot, especially when they're only down, like, what? 20% of their forces now. Ooh! Look at this. The zombies killed all of those troopers on the flanks, and now they're coming for the main course. The main meal over here. Ooh. So, now we got zombies coming up this way and attacking these guys. More shotgunners are actually splintering off to try and deal with them, I think. Uh, but then there's also these SMG troopers over here to deal with. That's going to be rough for the uh, US of A right there, baby. Um, and I'm still wondering where the rest of those trolls are, unless they all went to the left, but I kind of doubt that. Maybe that's them? Ah, that's them over here. So we've still got a while before the rest of those trolls engage in the battle, but being 20% of the way through the battle here in terms of the number of zombies is a big step forward. Um, although the U.S. has lost a considerable amount of their force now, too. All right. <laughs> we just got to see what happens, I guess. So 15 minutes later, and we're now at 1.5 million kills for the U.S. soldiers. And look at this monstrous body pile that will only get bigger from here. Absolute insanity. And we have some brave U.S. soldiers here. And one's dead, and the other's probably going to go pretty soon as well. Fighting some zombos who are just getting shredded from the lines behind them. And look at this. The zombies just slip sliding down, creating the body pile bigger and bigger as we go. Absolutely insane. Um, now, what we do have going on is uh, 3,100 U.S. soldiers dead. And I think that's, again, from these flanks over here where, actually, the body pile's gotten some, some pretty steep hills now over there, too. That's kind of crazy. And then let's check this other flank and see what happened over here. Um, it seems like they must have pushed out again. Yeah, they pushed all the way back here again. No doubt these guys will all die as well. Same thing will probably happen as last time. <gasps> Is that a troll? Yo! We have one troll over here. Are there more? No. How did that one troll get over there? Right, that's a little kooky. I don't know why or how that one troll managed to get all the way over here. But that's kind of interesting. Um, and uh, that's not where they are. Where are they at? Over here. I think he's already dead. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Uh, so yeah, now 3,300 dead U.S. soldiers. Their numbers are going up in terms of losses, um, but the zombies, of course, <laughs> are still way up there in terms of losses. I still want to see how many zombies die on this hillside before the end of this battle because this is just absolutely absurd right over here. Just nutty numbers for the dead zombies over this way. Absolutely crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, things are going a little bit south now for the defenders. Look at this. We got trolls coming in the flanks over here and taking out a whole lot of troopers. This entire line dead. These guys over here also having to deal with a lot of zombies coming up. Not good. They've lost 5,000 soldiers total over one third of their force. That is really not good. Uh, over here, they're still holding out fairly decently, which is definitely good. And the bridge itself is holding. However, if you look right here, actually, the zombies are creating such a body pile that they're almost able to cross the river this way. So they're opening up more avenues for themselves to cross. Kind of kooky. Did not expect that to happen. Um, and definitely a danger for the U.S. forces on the opposite side. Look at this. We got shotgunners trying to surround these trolls, but the trolls are just going in on them, baby. So I guess a lot of the trolls must have come around the flank over here. Uh, and they're all kind of wrapping around, hugging this water and then coming up this uh, little side right here. A pretty good strategy for the trolls. I'm actually fairly impressed the AI is managing to pull this off and they're coming up and over and then taking swings at these shotgunners uh, and really dicing them up, tossing their salads, giving them the old one-two kapuya punch. is uh, not too good, not too good at all. And the shotgunners are still a good unit to defend against trolls. Uh, but, oh, that was a big swing right there. Uh, but as I was saying, it's it's just still a really, really brutal enemy to go up against. Let's, let's try and uh, take over one of these troopers and, and fight against a troll. Oh, I'm fighting as a troll. I don't want to do that. No. I want to be for the good guys. Yeah. 
Eat some lead, baby. Woo, we killed one. Yay. All right, let's keep it going. Oh, dear Lord. That is terrifying. Ah, oh, God. They one-shot us, and we're just... We're flailing. What is happening? Oh, what is happening? Is this what happens when you die to a troll in, in first-person mode? Oh, oh. <laughs> That was so bizarre. Holy cow. Well, the trolls continue to move through, uh, and they're almost at 2 million kills, the U.S. soldiers are, uh, but the trolls are at 5,500 kills here. Oh, it's definitely hard times for the U.S., but I think still a lot of potential for them to go ahead and win this battle overall. Um, you know, they just got to hold steady and continue to get some kills. These guys are probably all going to get wiped out before the end, but we've still got shotgunners in the town here prepared to hold this flank, which is good to see. And a lot of these guys are probably going to go down as well. Only time will tell what will happen, but I still have faith in the good old U.S. of A here, baby. All right, boys, the U.S. Army is almost halfway through all of the zombies. However, they have lost over half of their force now. Look at this. Zombies crossing over the bridge at this point because of the body piles just growing so huge. And the zombies are now just pressing the U.S. over here, which is crazy. And over here, absolutely nuts. And the trolls have wiped out all of these guys and are now going into the city area over here to flank the U.S. forces who are struggling to really take them out uh, in enough numbers. It's really tough. There is a large body pile growing here, which is good. Uh, but like this, the trolls flanking around and messing them up pretty good and preventing them uh, from securing the bag, baby. Let's check out this bridge over here. This bridge over here is definitely a bit of a saving grace. These guys have managed to hold their position very, very nicely over here and continue to get staggering kills. Uh, but the main area over here is becoming worrisome. At least these assault troopers can still fire in from the side to help out as well. That's definitely a, a very, very nice thing right there. But the center is starting to crumble bit by bit as these uh, trolls get really, really in here. However, there's some good choke points. There's lots of troopers on top of buildings as well, which is helpful. Uh, and there's still all three Shermans, though this one is a little bit more bloodied now, uh, which is a, a bit of a shame. It's a, it's a dangerous, dangerous thing. Uh, so we're going to let this ride, of course, but things are getting more and more risky for the United States as time goes on. Okay, so a little while later and the trolls have wiped out a lot of these U.S. shotgunners on the ground. And now it's mainly the shotgunners up in the buildings who are able to defend. These guys should defend for a good bit. However, uh, the zombies, uh, at least as of the last update, I'm not sure if that's true for the latest update, uh, which just came out, so I really don't know. They can glitch their way up to the top of the tops of these buildings. So that could be a massive problem, of course, here uh, for the U.S. shotgunners. I don't know if it was patched out again, but who knows? Um, these guys over here all got wrecked, including the Shermans. So now the zombies are just crossing on over. Man, I really thought that the U.S. was going to hold this bridge throughout the entire thing, but just countless zombies managed to push their way through, man. And now all of these defenses are going downhill big time now it looks like the zombies are starting to chase down the other u.s soldiers over here too uh and these guys are basically defending the bridge boys over here from having to deal with a massive flank as well even these bridge boys over here are getting overwhelmed by just huge numbers of zombies overall uh the u.s has lost 10,172 troopers at this point a staggering amount and they've still got 2.4 million zombies to get through this is going to be a really precarious battle at the end of the day. And look at that. All of those guys are now dead. So now the trolls and zombies are going for these U.S. assault troopers over here. U.S. assault troopers should be getting a decent amount of kills. But they are definitely weaker than the shotgunners. Hopefully these shotgunners over this way are uh, you know, making good use of the zombies. Ignoring them and killing a lot of these boys coming up here. Oh god, the troll got onto the roof over this way. And is now laying the smack down on a lot of these shotgunners. Oh, jeez, this is no bueno at all. I really thought the U.S. had this, man. And now they're just getting curb stomped. This is no good. All right, why don't we do a little time lapse of, I suppose, like these guys right here on top of the roof. I think that would be interesting.
almost all of these troopers on these rooftops are dead. Now it's just these guys over here who are slowly having zombies glitch up. So apparently that bug is not fixed. Um, so that's a rip to those guys. Um, these guys up here are still holding out, kind of. And then uh, the guys on the bridge, it looks like they got flanked and completely destroyed. So now there's only 65 U.S. soldiers remaining. Uh, and it's safe to say this battle is just about over. They're getting barely any kills per second now. I really thought the U.S. had this, man. I really did, but just overwhelming numbers. That's crazy. Did anyone else think that the U.S. had this, or was it just me? Either way, guys, that's going to be about it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, comment down below if you thought that the U.S. had this, too. All right, guys, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much. Also, if you guys want to join our private Minecraft server, all you got to do is join as a Patreon member, a Twitch sub, or a YouTube channel member. Once you've done that, you can message me on those platforms or on Discord and I'll whitelist you on the server. It's a great time. Feel free to join.